I'm adding here a render man render node here and now we want to denoise this scene here. So first off here is going to hook up my end results here. I'm going to set my camera, got my render cam here into the re camera, set my resolution. I render 2560 by 1440. I'm going to take this hip name here and remove this. So I'm doing that because I don't want to, to have the, the name in the scene, just this node here name uh, for my render. So bring the noise is gonna be the name for my render. Now let's go back here. So what we wanna do here is to under the image output, the render vars AOVs, it's gonna check denoise here and display options, I'm gonna untick as RGBA, like so. I'm gonna go into my rendering and set up something here, for example, um, sampling here, let's say um, the default, but instead of max sample zero, I'm just gonna say 32 max samples, for example. So very little here. And now to hook up the actual denoise, I'm gonna go from stage here into out and I'm gonna drop a fetch node and a denoise, random and denoise. I'm gonna connect this one there and go in here and say my source. It's gonna be my stage and this use the render up here. My random man denoise here is gonna be where we set up the actual denoise. So I'm gonna specify an output path here. So I'm just gonna drop this here. I'm gonna create a new folder we want to render frame range here. So it's going to be my input here. It's going to be the, the denoise. Okay, so I saved the scene and now I'm just going to hit this denoise in the background and I'll catch you on the tail end. So here's the render, 32 samples, and we can see this quite heavily noise in this one. And this one is when it has done the denoise process. So 32 samples on this side and denoise here. Okay.